Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are playing Trickle Down Factorio. Um, this is my concept for a base that has all of the raw materials at, on the top, and then we have rows of production to try and eliminate traffic on the train lines. And we are very specifically limiting our trains to either inner or outer tracks, depending on what they carry, just so we don't have any train jams. Yeah. So if you like train jam on toast, then this is not the series for you. Uh, no, I'm just joking. Anyway, in the last episode, we started breaking ground on our brand new nuclear uh, facility. It's pretty great. Let's see, our train, I think we send it back to the base and collect more stuff. Um, and what we were going to do is build a train station to deliver materials to this nuclear power plant. And we can do that quite easily, I think, from the top here. To make this expandable to the right, let's build the train station on the top. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking about. We want to give it some space so we can put some, uh, some pipes through here. So we'll just give it a bit of space there. So let's go look at our rails. And then we want to do belted rail stations, nuclear fuel, and uranium. No, we want nuclear outpost that's what we want it's very simple very easy not a big deal station all we need to make sure of is that we are have these roboports connected to our new ones over here and this should be in the right zone i think we just need to make sure that we have some power connections here uh, and also to the nuclear power plant itself that's kind of needed okay there we go and then you can connect here, perfect. And then I think I'm just gonna take regular two sets of two rails down there, not two sets, just two rails. And those can connect to our main line. We absolutely do not need four rails coming up here. That is not needed at all. So here we go. All right, and here is our main line. So we have energy on the inner part of the line. And then we have other stuff on the outer. So I'm just going to delete the entire section here because that's going to be in the way. But we can bring these a bit closer. All right. And then we can actually use our blueprint book to do the inner outer. So we want to do rails out inner, right? Energy inner, yeah. Rails in inner. Okay, that's going to be that one. And then rails out inner is going to be that one. So we're, we're able to use the same kind of blueprints we would on a uh, on an outpost in this situation. Of course, we're going to have some issues like these, which are not happy situations, let me tell you. But, um, yeah, there's not much we can do here. Uh, we can do that. We can do that. This one is going to be unhappy, I believe. Let's see. This one goes this way. We can do that. Yeah, we're not able to get this signal happy, but the rest of them are. They're okay. They're not blinking. So that's that's a happy, happy situation. Now, let's connect the power poles once again because this often messes with the power poles. And, of course, connect our outposts as well. This is going to be very important for the delivery of energy which is a yay item. Okay, train. Okay, there's our train. Let's go and collect materials from the train. And we can actually start delivery of stuff to our nuclear outpost. Okay, hello, thank you. And boilers. And oh, we got another uh, power station. Yay. I'm going to I'm going to put those down manually. I'm going to put down the reactor manually because it's <laughs> Yeah, it's. I want it to be adjacent to the other one, and uh, we need to make sure that that just happens. Okay, so the um, the train should come up in here. D does this thing? What is this called? Nuclear power one. So I'm going to set the other train, the building train, to come here. So building train. Which one is it? Is it th it's this one? So building train. I think you should go to also to nuclear power station over there 
And that one, I don't know if it needs to go to the building train station to load up first. I probably should do that anyway. So go back here, do your thing, si five seconds of inactivity as always. Uh, and I want you to do just do that, please. Just do the thing. There you go. Okay, so that's going to come in here and it's going to request the stuff that we need um, for this particular outpost, which is wrong. Oh, no. Okay, well, these items are wrong. Um, let's fix it. Let's get like 100 of these and 100 of these. I'll just do this and you don't have to watch it. All right, so this is what I ended up with. Um, we have these different items here, including 2,000 landfill, uh, because I think we, you know, this, this particular area is going to need that. Anyway, this is another thing I need to fix on my blueprints. Oh, there's so many things on the list. Okay, I also discovered that this thing, this combinator, was also not attached here. Attach with green wire. So that also has to be fixed. I'm going to, I, oh man, my list of stuff to fix on blueprints is getting extensive and it's kind of like, oh my God, but I don't want to interrupt my recording to do that. So, you know, I kind of have to just chill with that. Okay, so let's get going with the rest of this. Now, remember we have that nuclear reactor in our pocket here. Let's go ahead and put this down. Do we have any others? No, it looks like not. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and put my robots, turn them on, and see if we can get any anything going here. Do we have... One of the things that we need is... Oh... We, will, we have... <laughs> we've connected these to the wrong thing. Crap. Okay, well, it's fine. We don't need to connect them to the engines. They need to be connected to these pipes instead. So let's remove, actually, let's remove all this and shift it. We need to shift it to this side, actually, there. Uh, or, well, let's see, there, like that, yeah, technically. And we can remove all these, obviously. And then this thing just needs to go here. Okay, there we go. And you can have a power pole there. Now, we need to check the other side as well and make sure... Do these things actually have water down here? These things? Water? Yep, they do have water. Okay, that's good. That's a good thing. All right, wow, we're filling in everything. All right, let's go back to game speed one. And see what we have. Ah, we do have water in the correct <laughs> correct orifice. Yay. That's always good. That's always good. So anyway, we do have bots coming in, as you see. Now we just need the train that carries the fuel. So this is quite a long trip from the train station, but it doesn't actually matter that it's long. Um, what I do want to do also is when we are looking at this, this thing, which... We still don't have enough centrifuges, and I don't understand why. Um, anyway, we need to get our train coming in here uh, to carry this fuel. So let's go ahead and take a train here. And I'm going to set up a car uh, for this. It doesn't actually need much. We really don't need much. We need 20, okay? So that means let's just carry two for, you know, good measure. And then we can carry a couple of these ones as well. And that's all. That's it. That's literally all we need. And I'm going to give this guy some fuel. Here, take my stuff. And you can... Hmm. We can actually... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What we can do. Can we actually give this nuclear fuel? Does that eat nuclear fuel? I don't know. It does. It says it does. Eight gigajoules. Okay. Well... That seems good. Uh, let's do that. Let's pick up a... This thing is requesting 200. Wow, that's a lot. Um, I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to request like 10 or something. Let's do 10. All right. And control X this and put it over here. And it can fuel up over here. I hope this will work. It probably will. Uh, okay, go there. Thank you. 
And because we're not getting any other fuel here, so I think that should be working. But anyway, is this still requesting stuff at all? No, it's not. Because I messed up the connection. All right, so this, technically, this does not connect to that. We need it to be a green connector. I had to, I had to run down to green circuits to get all these green wires because we didn't have any. Okay, so now it should turn the stop back on, and it is on. Excellent. So now the building tree should go there and fix this. Now this guy does not have a recipe because this is the recycler. This is actually the recycler for all that stuff. Uh, so we definitely need that one to go back on. And um, yeah, that's what we got though. This is kind of kind of cool. So here we go. Go there. Then we want to go to nuclear whatever. Um, uranium, nuclear fuel pickup right there. Okay. So let's just do inactivity there. And this will be inactivity as well. So go. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy. And I need to actually go and get my train because it's just sitting on the line there and not going anywhere. So let's take our train back home, back to the base. And um, I'm going to actually take it to the building parking. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the train of any nuclear fun stuff that we might need to build the entire thing with and put that in the station because I'd rather have the other train deliver the stuff. Oh, there it is. There's the train. Yay. Uh, they don't actually have anything. Okay, so that's fine. That's just fine. Do we need... Here, let me just empty my stuff into there and see if they need stuff. All right, they're taking... They're going to take heat pipes and all kinds of other stuff there, which is great. Uh, no reactors yet, but that's okay. We're, we're pretty good with that. Let's do our personal logistics stuff going on there. And, hmm, that's a shame they don't have any reactors, but... I will tell the train, let's go to, oh my god, click on the bus to call the train, and where are we going? Come on, show me things. All right, I want you to go places. I want you to go first here, go there, and then I wanted to go to nuclear power. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder what, what, what they still need over there. I wonder what they need a lot of places, actually. I have no clue what they're asking for. Oh, this, of course, they need all these modules. Of course they do. But what about these other places? This should have been done a long time ago. Yeah, what are you asking for? You're asking for red, red stuff. Why? Do we need any? Maybe. But why is the train not delivering it? That's what I'm curious about. Why? Oh, you know why? Because it's probably the first one on the list... And it keeps, uh, yeah. What are you guys asking for? Still red stuff. Huh. I am bewildered. What? Why are they asking for this stuff? Let's see. You are asking for uh, beacons and modules. Okay, that's fair. You need beacons and modules. But, yeah. These other ones. I want to follow the train and figure out what's going on with the scheduling there because it's just not really working very well. Are you the one that's going? Yeah, you're going to all these places. Okay, now you're going back to uh, building. Go go back to the base and then go to nuclear power. Okay, so uranium fuel, it says it's done. It apparently delivered everything. Yeah, it looks like it almost did. No, it still needs... Still needs stuff. Why are you guys not doing stuff? Okay, it's probably uh, construction overload, maybe, because of this. Uh, which should not be, but it is anyway, because I don't know. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and make a checkerboard again with the um, uh, these guys. Because we don't need them. They do take extra energy, by the way. Um... This is empty. This should be empty, I think. Yeah. Uh, extra robo ports, extra energy. So, but no, we're we're still building down here apparently, which is nice, mostly if we can get it going. Oh, hello. Oh, there's no there's no robots in this network. Why are these not connected? There's something wrong here. Why is that one not close enough? This is very, very strange. Why are they not connected? There's a slight gap, apparently. How? How, though? It doesn't show any gap. 
Oh, there's an extra line of things. Oh, boy, that's not great. Okay, well, let's fix it. This is going to have to be deleted. Sorry. That's a tiny mess and a half, you know? All right, well, that's fine. We'll fix it anyway. Let's get this back. Let's get our solar array properly placed this time. Looks like we had a little bit of, like, detritus happening there. Oh, whoops. Control Z there. Uh, did that get... Yeah, that's fine. But I think... There they go. They can replace those. And this, yeah. I think it, it happened some, some kind of an error that we made. But it's okay. We can fix it. Nothing is uh, unfixable here. That's really an important part of this game. One thing I love about this game. It's always fixable. It's great. Okay, you can go as well. And anytime we see... You know, not a checkerboard. We can often take out the RoboPort. And that saves us a lot of red circuits. And uh, yeah, it's good for us. Very good. Very good for the factory. And these guys, hopefully, they're not doing it. But I would wish that the robots could be like, Ah, I picked up an accumulator. There's one that goes there. I'll put it down. You know, instead of having to go all the way back to whatever chest will take stuff. And it's like, okay, that's not great. I guess we could put chests or something here, maybe. You know, we could do that. Let's just do that. Let's pick up a chest made for, uh, let's see, accumulators and solar panels. There's one here, and you can be accumulators. Okay, so we're going to X these right now, and I'm going to put these in the grid somewhere. You know what? I'll put them toward toward where we're going, toward the end here put them here okay and then those can just store stuff for when we need it we can also put one maybe over here uh, just a set there for this deconstruction I don't know if they'll go they might store it in the base but we'll see what they do anyway uh, that's a thing that's cool so did we get more construction done over here maybe it does look like we really need um, a radar in here or seven maybe Let's put one there and then we can also put one from this end over there or here maybe okay and that will those will get put in and we'll add radars as we go I really wanted to oh there we can click it finally okay so this is gonna be fuel reprocessing which is nice um, that way we can make sure and get our uh, some of our stuff back and so how are we doing? Did we get fuel here yet? Hello? Oh, we can't see. Oh no, the radars are not in place yet. Come on, bots. Fix this. Come on, bots. You can do it. Construction. Did we get... Oh, there's the fuel. We have fuel. Okay. Do we have power? <gasps> not yet. Yes. Yes, we do. We have 1.2 megawatts of power. Uh, that's not a lot. That's not a lot yet. It will it will go up. It will go up. But yeah, how are we doing on in terms of like solar? I think we've we've risen quite a bit on solar, and now it is charging all of the accumulators, which is good. That's that's necessary. Uh, it doesn't look like our top went very very hot. Well, actually, it did it went like twice as much. So that's something for sure. Um, so yeah we're doing pretty well we're using a lot of energy as well now that we're doing more stuff and we have more energy to do more stuff so that's that's a win overall for sure all right let's go down here we can take out this one okay and that one and maybe later i'll just copy one of the checkerboards so we don't have to like yeah do the whole thing and that is, I guess I can just copy an entire tile here. Um, if we copy from here, like the very corner, and then go up to this corner. Ah, but we have errors in this. I wonder why. All right. Let me fix these errors. What is going on here? Is this, oh, it's all swampy stuff, I think. And that gets translated forward, unfortunately. Let's fix this. Power, solar array, okay. We tried to do this earlier. 
And it didn't work. Let's just take this one out and that one out. Okay, good, good. We have some errors down here as well. I mean, overall, they don't really make a huge difference, but, you know, if you're wanting to be a little bit accurate with stuff, it's nice to kind of do that. Hmm. Okay, and you can go away. And overall, I think we are doing well and have very few errors. Just these ones where we have little lakey things and stuff. We'll get this one organized and it does look like it has just a few errors, but I want to heal those errors, uh, you know? Actually, all of them. Let's just heal all of these areas where we need landfill. And then we can make a copy so we don't have to keep deleting the roboports. So that makes it easier on us for sure. Okay, that seems good. What do we do next? Oh my gosh, we have finished many, many, many things. We can build, you know what we can build now? We can build spiders. Let's build spiders. So we have low density structures. Um, we should probably put them in a box. I don't know if they are, that is needed for spiders. I think we're gonna import a lot of stuff for spiders via the robots. So that's important. Um, we are gonna need a box for blue chips to to go out into our world of love and joy we'll go ahead and do like five stacks of those just so our blue chip maker can keep on going oh we already have some nice okay we already have some in a box that that alleviates that question okay uh but we needed to make we have uh low density structures let's find where they are here they are nice so let's see you can go this way and become um, become a box situation. Go into the box. Okay, let's save. Uh, actually, let's save like two rows in a box. That seems okay. Good, good, good. And then we, oh wow, we're, we're really short on copper, aren't we? Wow, we are so short on copper. Is it because, why is it because? Oh, it's just because we are using a lot of it. We're just using a ton. Let's see, the uh, stone is getting used up as well. Seems like we're, yeah, we're using a lot of everything. Uh, we can also bring some in if we, if we need to. So far it seems okay, except we're not getting a lot of copper down the line, which we may need to do an injection on this area because it's not getting much to red circuits not getting much to low density structures which we're currently kind of chilling with over here um so that that's a future problem obviously now then let's make uh we need to make rocket control units those are blue uh blue chips and speed modules so that's pretty easy to make um i might want to set up another one of these situations here so that's a, let's see, we can just copy these guys like this and set it up here. Wow, I didn't even copy all the rest of this stuff here. <laughs> well then, okay, that was not ideal. It's fine though, it's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll be fine. Okay, there's that and We'll go ahead and start making all the belts red. Not that we really have much production for it, but it's okay. We can just start that process instead of converting all of them later and then creating a huge strain on our mall. So here I want to make, let's change these to make blue. Yep, these guys, these guys right here. And instead of this, what I wanna do is we're gonna output them on a belt. So um, I'm not going to do this. We're going to do we're going to do other things here. Let's move this there, and move this over here, and put in these guys over there. Um, all right, and there. Yep. Okay, so we're going to put these speed modules on a belt there, and then they will meet up with the blue chips and go this way. So blue chips are gonna come in here. 
Nice. And go this away. Good. So then we get our rocket control units here somewhere. So we're going to copy. Uh, actually, yeah, we can copy this. It's fine. Copy this and then do the same on the other side. And those are going to go out. And we're going to have a, let's do a splitter here and put in, yeah, just another chest to hold them. So those can go there and we get another power pole and these can have, I don't know, two rows. But it's clear we need another, um, these, another rocket, another, oh, not, oh, words, help words. We need words. That is a roboport. Yes. Okay. So let's get these going and make more. Make like four. I don't know if we can even support this, but. It's something. It'll be there. So you guys are making rocket control units. So those are 30 seconds crafting time. Copy paste. And we're just going to copy more of these. Oops. Copy better than that. Nope. Copy better than that. Okay. That is slightly better. Hooray. Yay. All right. There we go. There we go. That is something. We did something here. Oh my goodness. Um, and then I think we can probably do a module insertion here. What can we do with this? I don't know what we can do there. Oh, we can put productivity in these? Really? Wow. I'm impressed. Okay. Can we do it here? No. Okay. Well, that's okay. We did something. That's great. Hooray. Okay, so that's rocket control units, which we do need for the spider. Um, what else do we need for spiders? Let's look. Um, okay. Efficiency module threes. Oh boy. And rocket launchers and fusion generators. Those can be made in the mall, but efficiency module three is a pain in the socks. So we need to um, send this off. Let's do this and do an efficiency module three maker. So you're going to be efficiency module one. Yep. Okay. And you can go into a box. Here. And we just want one stack in that box. And then we take, do we actually want to, hmm, I guess we have to put it there. Um, all right, actually, I'm going to be naughty here. I'm going to be very naughty. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to move things. Just move it because I really want to move it. And then this one can go here. We don't need a lot of these. We just need a few. And it's okay if they kind of build up a bit. Oops, no, no, you're number three. Three, there you go. Okay, there we are. That's fine now. And we can put in speed modules here to make these run faster. Let's see, speed, 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 speedy speed, go, go. And then these guys have to be manually put in because they eat speed ones for breakfast. All right, those are okay though too. Okay, cool. And then we return these into a box, red box. There you go. Just one stack, please. Just one stack. And these are gonna take a belt like this and they will eat those things. Yay. All right, cool. Uh, but we are currently lacking red chips for this. Uh, so I'll feed it some and then it can do its thing. Now then, let's go ahead and build the rest of the materials in the mall. Uh, like rocket launchers and all that kind of junk. We'll get those things going. Exoskeletons, which we have been blessed with from the beginning of the game because we use the console to treat ourselves to lovely things. This is why we have nice things. Uh, now, let's go into the military stuff. We need exoskeletons. Wow, uh, they need stuff. And then fusion reactors. That's fun. We don't have blue stuff at all in the base. So I think we're probably, do we have it? 
anywhere? I don't think so. I don't think I actually put it into this boutique space. So <clears throat> what we can do, usually I kind of have a little string over here for this, but right now the storage is in, in, in the way slightly. So we could either move the storage or just add blue stuff somewhere. I think we just add machines to make stuff, honestly. Let's do that one, two, three. Uh, all right, we're gonna make, let's see, do these want the same things, sort of? These kind of do, I don't know. Uh, we do need weird things, all kinds of weird things. So we'll try to get those and then, yeah, just good luck us, right? So you go here, you go there. And then we'll share the box to deliver the stuff. So let's get a whole bunch of blue chips. 100 is good, yeah. All right, and then you need steel and electric engines. All right, steel, sure. Electric engines. I don't know if we have steel or electric engines in the network. And then low density structures. Let's have you take like 40, something like that. And then let us just <laughs> limit these boxes very severely here. So uh, now we need to figure out, is steel in our network? I think it's not. So let's just put it in the network. Let's do it. Let's put a box here for like five stacks, sure, uh, with thingy. Is this in a, yeah, it is in a space, good. <coughs> And then electric engines, we have um, being made as part of the robot area and or science. They both make electric engines. So I think we can just use the secondary production from that. Because we don't really need a huge extra production just for that. So here's some electric engines. All right. They're going to these guys and they're not even using them. So we're going to just take this from there. Uh, put in a filter inserter back here. Oh, you guys don't have power. How sad. That is very sad. Actually, let's put one here. That'll serve both causes. You put these in here. Fantastic. Five stacks ought to be enough. And let's wish for electric engines. Hooray. All right, so that's a couple of things done. Let's just make sure these are in the RoboPort zone. That's needed. <clears throat> so let's go back now and see the rest of the stuff that we need here. How are we doing with things? So it looks like we don't have any purple, no purple science. That's, that's very sad, very sad. Okay, so here we are. Um, now, in the process of making all these things, we definitely do need to have RoboPorts made and Super RoboPorts made. So let's get these making regular RoboPorts. Uh-huh. Regular. Where are you? Do we have them? Did we make them? Uh, maybe not. Belt immunity is nice. We also need batteries like crazy. Belt immunity is nice to have. Where are the RoboPorts? Battery Mark 2 is needed as well. Let's see. Robo. Oh, I wonder if we don't have them yet. Here it is, personal RoboPorts. Oh no, we need the Ultra version as well. We don't have any of them, that's unfortunate. All right, well, hopefully we can get that sorted because we'll put those here because those are needed for making the, um, the spider. So actually we can make the spider here. Why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and get the spider starting to be constructed. And I will just request everything, basically. Unless it needs stuff from those two lines. No, it doesn't. It doesn't need anything from those. Here, take this. Thank you. And you can have this. And then we will have you outputting into a chest. Let's make, I don't know, four, sp two spiders at a time? Sure. Seems okay. <clears throat> copy paste this into the box and then we have a bunch of stuff as you see now there are a lot of things missing wow 500 no don't no 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 just 50 at a time thank you 
And also we can reduce these to like 20. Um, these, let's just reduce that to four. And rocket launchers, we don't need 15. Let's make five of them. Same thing with these. Request like one at a time. Exoskeletons also one at a time. Radars, yeah, I don't care. Um, fish, we probably have the fish. Yeah, there, there are the fish. We need the rocket launchers though. I always forget how to make them because it's not often you kind of like do them. So anyway, they're iron plates, gears, and circuits. They're stuff that's actually on this line here. But we can't connect it because we're too close with this stuff. So I'll just go ahead and put down a machine here and grab the stuff we need from the belt. So you're going to make rocket launchers. And you know what? I'm going to X this and move it closer so that we can put in a box there. You take that. I'm going to make five. I think they're one to a stack. So there we go. OK, that's rocket launchers. Is this in a it is in a zone? Good, good. So this is currently getting stuff and or things. We have three exoskeletons already, which is super nice. Uh, worker robot cargo says I'm going to skip that for now and add that later because it is getting a bit uh, we just don't have the purple science right now. Uh, I'm going to check on why that is. Let's see. What is going on with purple science? Here it is. So we're missing red chips. Wow. Hmm, what a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. But it is a surprise because we actually have red chips here. So why is this not going? Hello? Uh. Oh. I accidentally made this red. It used to be blue and then I, I did a mass upgrade uh, or mass red grade because it was an upgrade and a downgrade. Oh man, that's rough. Okay, that was dumb. So that's why we're not getting any red chips. But it's good to check on things because, you know, mistakes happen. It's a thing. Some Some of us are human most of the time, some of the time. Sometimes you never can tell. Okay, this stuff is not still not placed. Why isn't this placed yet? Landfill, huh? I don't know why they haven't placed that landfill yet. We did that ages ago. Ages ago. Come on, come on, game. Keep up, please. Please keep up. All right, so now we can make robo ports which is fantastic. All right, these need steel and what else? Red chips we can get and gears. That's good. Red chips and gears. And then we can also get, so we'll do this. And then we need a box, blue box to get batteries. So it wants batteries and steel in here. All right, let's get those things. We'll do like 50 steel. And then batteries, how much does it want? Let's see, oh my God, that's a lot, 20 maybe. Okay, um, yes, so that gives you stuff and you stuff. And let's get our power pole in here. Now, I don't know how much these want. What do they want? They want blue processing units, so, and then low densities. Okay, so processing units and low densities. Let's get those in here and make that ready for when it's ready to build one. Um, low density, there we go. And we'll do like 30. That's the only one where we want multiple stacks because they stack so very low. Okay, so that's gonna be a thing. Nice, all right, it's done, hooray. There you go. Okay, so now we can transfer those over there. And what do we do now? Capacity bonus or speed. I always love speed, but we don't have, we don't actually have space science yet. Atomic bombs, mining productivity. Let's go for, th oh, we don't have space science yet. Uh, let's get inserter capacity and then worker robot cargo size and then power armor mark two. Might as well finish that off. Um, so this thing, let's uh, put some speed modules in any of these, all of these things just to, to get them going. So what are you missing? You're missing batteries. Do we have any more batteries? I'm not sure if they're actually in the logistics network. Let's look. So it doesn't look like they are. 
let's put in a battery thing here and get them to be transported. There we go. And we're lucky we have some, some uh, RoboPort area. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, that's looking nice. Very nice. Okay, so we probably could use some more uh, battery makers. It seems like we have very few. So I'll just go ahead. I mean, the lines are full. We might as well, right? And we'll change the crossover point from here to over here and take this out of there. Okay, cool. And I will go ahead and redify this entire area, basically upgrading the belts so stuff goes faster. Do we, are we good with this more? Yep, there we go. And kind of get this all redded. Red it out. All red. Okay, there we go. So that's something, doing something. Going somewhere. Did we get the red circuits? Yes, they're finally passing through. We might even want to make this a blue belt, I'm feeling. Because this, this is getting, you know, we're, we're, we're moving on up here. We're moving on up. So let's get this going. And red circuits on a blue belt. Wow. That's not something you hear every day. Okay, so that's going to get done over time. I'm not sure what our capacity for belt making is. How are we doing on that? Are we pretty full? Yeah, pretty pretty good. So what are we what are we stopping at? 1.5k. Let's make 3000 because we might start making blue our, you know, official belt, I'm thinking that we're going to use for a long time. Okay, very good. I have actually a lot of these beacons. Maybe I should go here and just place them down. I'm thinking that might be a good thing, because why not? Okay, let's just turn up the speed a bit so I can walk a lot faster. We can just head out over there and start placing these beacons out. Ooh, look at this. We find new problems as well. That's good. Finding new problems is always great because you can solve them. And solved problems are far better than the alternative. Also, we never put in proper shunting yard here as well. That's another thing we forgot to do. Okay, so now these are going to work better if we get materials. What's going on here, guys? Plastic bars. Wow, all right. Well, that's not great. Definitely not great. Um, I think we should redo the shunting yard. That's kind of needed here, as well as over here, because these do have these very long trains here. So let's, um, are these going to work? No, those are the wrong angle. Do we have any that will work there? I don't think so. I think we need to make them or let's see if we have them in the blueprint book. Rails, shunting yard for 10 long. Yeah, this is the one we need actually. This is the one we need. Okay, so that can actually do this. That can be there. All right, if we just, let's just delete the whole thing. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be kind of far from the station, which is definitely not ideal, but it's better than the alternative. So let's put this uh, in the alternative being one train can be waiting and the rest are going to be on the main line waiting. And that is very bad. You do not want that to happen. So let's go shunting yard for 10 long trains. This is the correct direction. Yep, that's the one we want. Okay, here we go. And we'll put it as close as possible to the uh, station. But this is what we got. This is all we got for that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yes, very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we need to put in this thing over here. So hopefully we can manage that. Let's just delete these things. Delete the signals and the train pieces or the track pieces that belong to this section. Uh, be careful because there's a lot of stuff going on here. You don't want to take the wrong thing off. And anything that blinks like those signals, you can take those off as well. All right, let's get clean up some of these horrible signals here. Jesus, there's like way too many because of all the interactions here. You can go away. All right, I think we're pretty good, maybe. Are you there? Yes, you are. That one goes up. That one goes in. You're good there, maybe. Okay, cool. So this is an, 
Oh, wow, we have too many radars here for sure. This is a, hmm, this is a, an in for an inner, in inner. Okay. So let's take that one out. Uh, this is out inner, in inner. Yay. Perfect. Except for, no, it's good. It's actually good. Nice. But this thing got overrun here. This is not great. Let's take this one out as well and this one too because they're going to block stuff. We just want to have chain signals in this area because this is a mess and a half, right? This is just a mess and a half. This is too small for any trains to really stop here, so you do not want them stopping in the middle. So just leave it as it is. It, it will work. These guys also, there's... Yeah, you don't want them stopping in the middle here. You just want them to to use these chain signals and and look ahead to the rest of the thing. So that's cool. Right. We got our, our nice shunting yard here. Now we just do the same in the next station. So let's go ahead and do that. Just walk over there and get this one done. Okay, thank you very much. Go away, go away. Shoo, shoo. And we'll go ahead and do the same right over here and see how that's going to work for us. Uh, okay, okay, good, good. Oh, let's go back to one speed so that we don't get our <laughs> our deletion finger trigger happy over here because that can happen and delete stuff we don't want to delete. All right, you go here. So this is going to be an in inner as well. Okay, go away. Shoo, excuse me, go away. Mm -hmm. Okay, go away this. And then there's way too many signals on the outside now as well. Oh no, train ran out of fuel again. Oh dear, that's not great. That is definitely not great. All right, let's fix this again and see if we can align it in a way that makes sense here. There's actually a lot of space in this particular train station, so that's pretty handy. Uh, let's see, let's get our rail book open. Rails, uh, here we go. This is the right one. Make sure that you kind of twist it around in your mind and see that it is correct, the correct direction. That, like here we had to flip it in our brains to make sure that it would fit here. So that's important, important to note. There we go. All right, that doesn't belong there. That's part of the blueprint. Shoot, I got to change that. Let's actually fix that while I'm uh, thinking about it. Rails, uh, where is that? This one, that one. No, this one. Oh, yeah, right there. Jeez. Okay, go away. Save. Shoo, don't do that to us. Oh, my God. Now we have new problems. Oh, okay. Hmm. So this is an in-inner, you say. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, right. We might have to delete some of the parking here, I think, because this is going to be a real pain in the socks. Uh, we need to make it sure it connects with this thing here. So it has to be at a specific point. So this does actually connect. You can see the curve on the rail there that it's unbroken and it's not, you know, like angled or something. So here we need to... Uh, okay, how far can we take this? That, this is the closest. All right, so we're going to have to delete two of these parking tracks uh, and that's okay we can we can live with this it's not too bad uh, let's get rid of these guys here uh, yep there we go all right this is a pain in the socks oh my god all right, job done. Um, I think that's more than enough tracks. We have <laughs> six parking tracks. We really don't need more than that. Uh, not for these small areas in any case. So we got that sorted. Let's go over and check the signals. Just double check them and make sure that we have what we want. It does look like we only have chain signals in this area. Um, I think we need to change maybe, is that long enough? No, that's not near long enough. You go away as well. Um, okay, so we definitely want to get rid of any regular signals in this area because we don't want trains to get jammed up in here. Not great. Not a great idea. 
So this is fine. I think that's good. That will work. It's all correct now. I believe it's all correct. I hope. <laughs> Let's check for that train. Where's that train running? Oh, hello. Um, I'm guessing the train cannot take nuclear fuel. That's what my, my supposition is. All right. I think I'm just going to run up there and find out. All right, so it is as I thought. You cannot fuel them with uranium fuel. I kind of had that thought in the back of my mind. I'm like, I don't think that's going to work. But I thought, ah, I'll try it anyway. Anyway, let's go back up to over there and add a radar. We're missing one in the middle here. I was going to look and see, are there places nearby where we can get decent fueling options for this thing? Or is there coal or something? Wow, and this mine hasn't been attended to. This is really not great. This is really not great. I think what we do here is uh, in this station, I want to request fuel. I think we take fuel here. And then just have our building train deliver it, and then it will be better. But yeah, we need to figure out what is going on here. Why are these trains not... Why are these stations not getting stuff? All right. I think we need to take an episode, or maybe I just do it between episodes. I don't know if that's interesting or not. Maybe it is interesting. It's interesting to me. Um, like, why are we, what's going on with things? What is, why are we not getting stuff that we need to get um, in these places? So, yeah, let's do that. Let's figure that out. All right, but that's going to have to be for another episode. Uh, if you could do me the tiniest favor and do please click that uh, like button if you enjoyed the episode. And if you didn't, do tell me why not. Um, I'm always interested to hear your feedback. And if you have other ideas for the factory, do please let me know. I'm really curious what you think. You know, would you do things differently? How are you feeling about the factory? Do you like the way it's going? What's your favorite part of mega basing? What's your favorite kind of animal? I don't care. YouTube comments cares. Uh, because it's all part of engagement and I hate to even ask you it's so silly but that's that's the reality of life and we want people to to come into our community so why not share the the joy and uh, invite your friends colleagues whatever share the video with them share it on social media um, post about the game man it's cool to be a gamer these days so anyway um, huge thank you to all of my patrons and supporters. You are amazing and great and lovely. And everybody else is too. Remember that you, everybody has special qualities about them. And you're the only you around there. Around anywhere, actually. You're the only you. So um, treasure yourself. Give yourself time to relax and chill and have a nice time. And play more Factorio, of course. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.